y'all. I thought it'd be fun to do a vlog on our garage gym. I've had a lot of questions on what type of equipment we have, where we got it, how much it costs, stuff like that. So I'm just going to give y'all a complete tour of our garage gym um, just to show y'all what we're working with. I'm going to start off with my favorite, um, the Rogue Reverse Hyper. This we just got uh, about two months ago. It was definitely an investment. It cost about a grand. Took a little bit of um, nagging from my husband <laughs> to, to get this thing, but it was totally worth it in the end. I have to agree. So um, anyways, we got it from Rogue.com. It came with this Fred Ink strap that attaches on here when it moves. Um, and it also came with the Rogue HG collars. These are awesome. I love these clips. They're really um, handy. They don't fit on all of the bars that we have. But um, anyways, love it. You just put your plates on here, load it. You'll watch my videos to see how it's done. Um, but then you just hop on top of here, hold on. We've also found some other uses um, for it where you can do rows. Um, you can do light extensions where you sit on top of here and strap your legs in. So, I mean, there's a lot you can do with this. Um, it's huge. It takes up a ton of space. When we got it, it came on wooden pallets in this massive cardboard box, like huge. Um, and it definitely took the two of us to get it unscrewed and put in here. So um, yeah, make sure you have space if you're going to invest in something like this. Um, next would be this Weeder Pro that we have. Um, we got this off of a Facebook resale page. Somebody bought a house and it came with the house and they didn't work out so they sold it to us for like $125 or something like that. Um, it's nice, it's small, it can do a lot for uh, the price. I think they go for maybe $300 brand new. Um, chest, flies, you can do pull downs. They've got this here, leg extensions. Um, the only con with this is the weight resistance is a little off. Um, even with just one plate hooked on there, I feel like doing leg extensions, it's a good 30 to 40 pounds. Um, and for a beginner, it's that, that can be kind of heavy. So that is definitely a con for me. I feel like their weight is just too high, I guess. <laughs> uh, so we're still trying to decide if we want to keep this and take it with us to Germany, if it'll be worth it, or if we want to maybe sell it and get something a little bit better. Uh, not sure yet. But anyways, uh, moving on. The mirror, we got that for free. Um, some friends flip houses, and I asked her, like, hey, you got any mirrors laying around? And she did in her garage from an old bathroom. So that's the story behind that thing. Um, our platform here, I believe it's, what, six by eight? Six by eight. Eight by, yeah, six by eight. Six by eight feet. Um, a typical standard one would be like an eight by eight, but we cut it down a little bit um, just to fit our space here. Um, we got the wood from Home Depot, and this is horse stall mats, very heavy. We cut that and put it on each side. Um, we did it in one night, it was done. Lots of glue, lots of screws. Um, cost about $200 to make. People ask what the purpose of this is. Um, basically, so you're not dropping weights on your cement because we did that once. <laughs> we dropped a weight and there's a big gash, well, little gash, <laughs> in um, the ground there. So it definitely prevents that, um, especially if you're doing it inside your house um, and you're not in a garage like this. Um, our power rack here we got from Amazon for $300, um, just a standard one. We like it, no complaints. We actually started out with a little squat rack that had no safety. It was just the rack, two poles with a bar on top of it. Um, and that lasts all of four weeks. And we are like, no, this isn't gonna work. It was so unsturdy, trying to re-rack it. It was falling all over the place, not safe. For beginners, it could be great um, if you've got a spotter, stuff like that, but we need something a little bit better. So 300 bucks, you really can't beat this. Um, my only complaint is the J-hooks here that the bar goes on. Sometimes it's a little hard to remove when you're taking it off of here and we have to use a plate to like kind of bang it off and take it out. So that's the only complaint and it's kind of loud when you take these out. Um, but it's, I mean, for 300 bucks you can't beat that. Um, this hammer strength bench, we actually just got this in Dallas this past weekend. Um, it came from SMU. We got it at Fit Supply. It is downtown Dallas. It is a massive warehouse with thousands of used gym equipment. Um, this was one of the benches that they had. They probably had like 20 just like it. We got it for $3.95, and these go for about $1,200 brand new, and it's in perfect condition. There's a few spots on here, but I mean, 
for us, being a military family, basically on one income, we don't make a lot, so everything we've tried to get, we've tried to get used or for a minimal cost. Um, so it's on wheels, it's fully adjustable, it goes all the way up, comes all the way down. Um, that's that. It's pretty easy to just pick it up and go around with it. Obviously, we went to the bottom inch like this, we had to pay $1,200 for it. <laughs> um, next, Spud Inc. makes this little pulley system here. Um, it comes with all three of these pieces, the straps, the pulley with the swivel, and then the piece that you put your weight on. Um, this you just attach to anything that can support the amount of weight that you're using. When we do it on the rack, the rack itself would not support it. As soon as you pull, it would come with you. So we always move our um, weights to the other side. We would put our J-hooks over there and hook our weight over there. That way, all the weight is supporting what we're pulling here. Um, right now, I've got 25 pounds on it. You can do a lot um, with this. You hold on to your straps. You can sit down. Obviously, 25 pounds is pretty light. You can do a low row. You can do a high row. Um, we've done tricep, pull downs this way. You can do an overhead. Um, you can do different ab movements. Lots you can do with this. I want to say there's 75 bucks at a spudding.com. There's Google spudding. Google spudding, I'm not sure. <laughs> but shout out to spudding for making this because it's awesome, totally genius. Um, and I think this was built to do to hold 800 pounds, something like that. So um, you can get a good workout in with this for sure. Um, Elite FTS, we got this adjustable um, box here. I think it adjusts into five different heights. This is the highest. I wish it would go a little bit higher because when I'm doing box steps, I can step probably another foot higher. But I mean, it gets the job done. We do box squats off this, step ups, um, box jumps. Um, a lot of different things, especially with me personal training, I can get a lot of use out of this. Um, the only thing is we bought this big old piece of foam from a fabric store, Joanne's, to put on top of here to kind of reduce the impact when you're doing box squats, especially heavy box squats. Um, this was like 20 bucks. It looks kind of gross. We've only had it for like two weeks. Um, anyway, so that's that. Weight Tree, we got it. Dick Sporting Goods, um, 40 bucks. Downside is it only holds 300 pounds and we didn't read that before we bought it. So um, next time we'll definitely invest in something that holds more weight or have to get two because we've already got 300 pounds. Um, these weight plates here, the Chapman or the Champs, Champs. <laughs> um, we got the entire set, 245s, 235s, 25s, 10s, 5s, and 2.5s. And that bar for, I want to say like $75 or $100, um, it was a friend that lives on base here, they were moving, and it's just been sitting in her garage for like two years. So I, she's like, make me an offer. And I totally blew it all, but she went with it, so win-win <laughs> for both of us, I guess. Um, we've got, we bought some extra clips here at a store. Um, power tower, we got this, that little boxing stand thing and our old weight bench for $75 on a Facebook resale page. Those are awesome. Facebook resale Craigslist are our go-tos. We're constantly searching on there for different weight things. Um, 75 bucks for all of it. Power towers will run you 75 plus alone. So that was another good deal that we got. Um, Elite FTS bands, we've got like one in every size. My husband is huge with these things. Um, if you watch my workout videos, you'll see that we use them when we um, squat, when we bench. Um, deadlift. So we've got light to heavy resistance, um, as you can see. Um, what else? A cool little. <laughs> we were doing hip thrusters in our garage, and I my hips were like bruising. So we went to the store and bought a cool noodle from Walmart, and um, basically cut a hole in the middle, and we just use that now whenever we're doing something like that. Um, my kids always try to play with it. <laughs> um, Next is our dumbbell stand. We also bought this at Fit Supply in Dallas for about $200. We've been looking to invest in one of these, um, but obviously we weren't gonna spend the full price for one. Um, so anyways, we got a good deal on that. Um, our dumbbells, we've kind of accumulated again over the past year, whenever they're on sale or we can get a good deal because these are expensive, um, we would never buy them full price. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Um, we got these at Target when they're at clearance, Dick's Sporting Goods, and then a resale page for this one. 
We also got this. I don't like it. My husband bought it. Um, it's a dumbbell. You can add your own weights to it, and then it came with these clips to put on there. Um, anyways, so that's that. And then we've got this Rage medicine ball, six pounds. We got this on sale um, at Dick's Sporting Goods, I want to say for around $55. Those are not cheap. Oh my goodness, they go up to like $150 to $200 for one of those. Um, but I love them for my personal training clients, um, and I use it myself all the time. Elite FTS. Shoulder saver pad. Um, I've used this when I bench. My husband really likes this, gets a lot of use out of it. Um, another attachment that we bought in Dallas for like $20. Two boxes of chains. My husband bought these at Home Depot. We like to use chains when we work out in here. Um, what else? Our fan. We got this on a resale page for about 20 bucks. You turn it on, it goes to like three different um, settings and it moves. It's 100 degrees plus in the summertime here in Texas. So this like little bit of wind just <laughs> is so nice. Um, our bars, moving on, we've got a total of five bars now. Two Olympic style bars, these Elite FTS. Um, Safety yeah. squat bar. Yes, <laughs> brain bar. Safety squat bar, I use it all the time. We do front squats. Um, box squats, traditional squats. It's about 62 pounds. Um, it's a lot different squatting with that than with a traditional bar. So, um, but we love it. Good investment in that for sure. Um, easy curl bar. I like this for curling and doing triceps. All just different grips that you can use. Um, this bar is very versatile as well. So that is that. That is our garage gym. Uh, we love it. We spend a lot of time in here. Um, our flags, I had to add those on there. American flag. This, for those of you who do not know your flags, is a Hawaiian flag. My husband's Hawaiian. We met in Hawaii in high school. Um, a lot of people think, ask if I'm British. So, no, representing Hawaii. Anyways, um, that is that. We'll definitely be adding more. We're taking all of this with us to Germany. Like we said, I'm going to be training from our, hopefully, a basement when we get there. Um, yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any more questions, just leave them in the comment box below. And until next time, if I can, so can you.